Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I'm here to talk about an update on the Xbox 720. Now look, I know the title might not be the Xbox 720. Let's just roll with it right now. We don't know what it's going to be for sure. So here's the deal. Neil Robinson, he's a guy from AMD. AMD is the company that supplied, I guess, chips or graphics chips to the Xbox 360, the one that we play today. And he said two things about the Xbox 720. So one was that uh, there would be enough processing power in there for crowds to each have their own AI, artificial intelligence. So today, in a game like Grand Theft Auto or Left 4 Dead, the entire crowd just sort of moves forward in one common goal. Tomorrow, that crowd can have its own intelligence. They, they can each have their own goals, their own missions, and their own way of dealing with you. And that's pretty interesting. You know, I imagine a game like Dead Island. You know, Dead Island, if you don't know, is a zombie game where you just sort of grab things off the ground. It's mostly melee-based, and you live for as long as you possibly can. Kind of like Nazi zombies, but um, you know, a little more varied, and you just you know, survive forever, and, and your character sort of builds up and does more stuff. It's cool. It's cool. I haven't even played it yet. It sounds cool. The concept sounds really cool to me. But um, uh, imagine how great a game like Dead Island would be if the mobs that you fought against each had their own AI, could each analyze the situation and deal with it in a different way than they do now. StarCraft, what would that be? So, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, to me, game developers are artists. And when you give artists more tools, more palettes, more colors, then they can do wonderful things with them. And I'm excited about that. The other claim he made was that the Xbox 720 would have the same processing power, would have enough processing power to make games that look like the movie Avatar. So my knee-jerk reaction on that was, wow, that's really fantastic, I can't wait. Uh, there was huge leaps in other games, why not this leap now? So then I looked into what it took to make the movie Avatar. Uh, what they did is they, they put together a whole data center. And uh, they had racks, each rack had four chassis, each chassis had 32 computers in it, and there were a total of 40,000, 40,000 processors used to make the movie Avatar. And then I thought, well, okay, 40,000 processors, they were probably, you know, churning out frame after frame after frame, you know, make a frame, look at it, not like it, re-render it, etc. You know, how long did it take to actually make, the, you know, let's say, a single frame in the movie Avatar. And some of them took several hours, some of them took several minutes. But wrap your head around that. 40,000 processors work together in parallel to generate a frame of the movie Avatar, and it would take several minutes or several hours. Now, that was, those were 2008 processors. If you fast forward that and call it like a 2014 processor, maybe that will be, let's see, 2010 would be double, 2012 would be... Uh, four times and then you know, eight times faster, right? So maybe in 2014 they'll take the equivalent of 5,000 processors to, to build something like the movie Avatar. We're still not even close. It needs to be rendering these things in real time, not over the course of several hours. I, I think all that really means is that, you know, if you were to make the movie Avatar in the movie in the year 2014, they could do it a whole lot faster. But, um, uh, so yeah, I, I hear that and it strikes me as a bunch of hot air. The Xbox 720 will not be making games that look as good as the movie Avatar. Not even close. They can do some tricks to make you know, scenes look like it, because you, know, you can play the movie Avatar on it. And you can have cutscenes that look like that, but real-time rendering, things that, that are based on your character's actions, it's not going to happen. There's not going to be you know, wind blowing through your furry tail or whatever it is that Avatar did. So, so that was that. The other thing I'm going to uh, call out, and this is unrelated to the video altogether, but uh, oh, let me wrap up that topic. 720, uh, they say it's going to have great graphics. I'm sure it will, but they won't be as great as they're, as they're starting. The hot air has already uh, started blowing, but uh, the AI part, I actually buy that, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was my, <laughs> I was on Skype with my friend Joe Lozon. If you don't know Joe Lozon, he's a professional UFC fighter. I'm honored to even know the guy. I think it's pretty cool. And I was saying, like, hey, is this fight with Melvin Gillard, is this thing set in stone? Is it really going to happen? Do you have a date? And he says, yep, it's going to happen. It's going to be in October. So I was like, all right, you know, what is he like? I watched Melvin Gillard on The Ultimate Fighter, and he kind of came off as a douche. And, and Rashad Evans sort of had to set him straight and say, look where you really are and who you really are. And, uh, but... And then again, you know, if I followed you around with a camera for six weeks and edited it selectively, I could probably find moments along the course of six weeks taken out of contents that made you look bad too. So Joe says, well, you know, he was always cool to me. He seems like a nice enough guy, but that's not going to save him. And Joe, that's why we love you. <laughs> Get some and good luck.
All right, and now for two videos you may have missed. The top one is Mail Monday. I talk about uh, a kid who's you know, struggling with his family's money problems, a soldier who's going through a divorce, and freaking girls who lead guys on. So there's a pretty good video. I hope that you enjoy it. The bottom one is an update on the PS3 that they had a patch that came out yesterday, so I put together a video and gave the PS3 guys some love. It was really well received, actually, so I'm going to start doing that going forward, uh, letting the PS3 guys know about their patches, just like I've been doing for the Xbox guys. So enjoy the videos and have a nice day.